After recording impressive success from the short film about substance abuse, Pepper Soup, in 2016, medical practitioner Maimuna Kadiri has returned with a full-length movie on mental health titled Little Drops of Happy. The movie would star top Nollywood actors including Osasi Godaro, Lisa Omorodion, Ayola and Mercy Aigwe is first created to raise awareness about postpartum depression and other mental health issues. What? Whenever he's upset or mad or angry, he beats me. Most of the films when I was growing up and up to recently, if you're talking about somebody who's mentally ill in Nollywood, is that person on the street? Uh, in tattered clothes, um, running around, eating from um, garbage and all. So no, that is just 1% or 2% of those that are mentally ill. Quite a number of us are dealing with those challenges, but we are all well clothed, well packaged, and moving on. So we need to show that aspect so that people won't just look at mental illness and make it as, a, you know, make it as if it's all those people on the street. In the director's chair is fast-rising filmmaker Grace Edwin O'Conn, who is saddled with the responsibility of believability. I'm sure by the time I was studying for this film, people, anyone who saw me at that time would probably think, are you going to study medicine or something? <laughs> so I, was, I was reading all kinds of literature, and in addition to what she had given me, I, I went online to read about, you know, true life um, cases and all of that, so it helped to guide um, what I had to do. We just made baby number five. Baby <laughs> little drops of happy chronicles a cumulative effect of some of the little everyday pressures in the homes and society with the character Mano, played by Osasi Godaro, as the anchor. Creating a sensitive movie for the cinemas, especially at these times when it looks like the movie lovers have a strong appetite for comedies, posed a big concern at the onset for actress Lisa Omorodion, who played the role of Tega, a sibling and support system for the lead character, Mano. I was present throughout the journey of this of this particular movie, from the writing to the script, from the scripting, sorry, to the to, you know from when it was an inception to when it grew to a movie. So I, I was I, well, I would say typically in the cinema, comedies do better because everyone wants to laugh. Everyone in Nigeria is going through struggles. Nobody wants to come to the cinema to watch something that would make them cry. But on the other hand, people need, we need to reach out to people to let them understand what human beings are going through. Why people, you see, the, the suicide rates this year was off the charts. You've not seen those kind of rates before. That's because people don't tackle these issues. We don't talk about it and well enough. I feel that Nigerians should be open to new genres of movies, genres like this, that tackle serious issues that need to be talked about in Nigeria. So I think, I really think that we're getting to that stage where people are accepting, because the, at the premiere, everyone was so open to the movie. Everyone was so, you know, was re receptive towards the idea of the movie. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man. No, 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 I'm angry. I'm so pissed And you know I am supposed to be in the mountains right now. Why? But not why. I don't understand. We're not supposed to go to the cinemas, but everybody that was involved in the movie saw it that, look, it has to go to the cinema. And of course, we said, okay, let's just assess the cinema. We had the many no's, like 
literally no um it's comedy that is trending now we need movies that will make people laugh people when they are in, in distress they go to the movies or they want to have fun so it's comedy with that will sell but when you look at it being a business person i understand the angle they are coming from will this movie sell will it move will it make market will people really want to come and watch it <laughs> Playing the role of a backbone for a sibling dealing with mental illness requires Lisa to express varying emotions at short periods. To pull it off, she had to dig into a closet she usually wouldn't want to open. Well, basically as an actor, you should be able to switch sides. You should be able to play comedy and, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, a sorrowful character and uh, an emotional character. So basically, I just had to channel all the... All the negative things in my life, things that I've, I've passed, things that I've overcome to get into that character. That's, for me, that's the way I do it. I think about negativity, I think about the things that I've overcome in my life, I think about my, my struggles in the past, and when I, when I channel that, it puts me in that emotional state to deliver that character. Dr. Maimuna Kaduri, a consultant neuropsychiatrist and a mental health advocate, remained resolute about how the movie is delivered still going to be entertaining, but not losing the message, not losing the focus, so not, lose, not going to Nollywood just because I want to make movies for people to laugh, make money, no. I want to go into it to create impact. Action. 